the North Sea project uh, is about the North Sea. It's a hugely busy environment, uh, lots of maritime activities happening, and it's a marine ecosystem at the same time. It's a marine environment, so you have to manage it really well, both the maritime activities and the marine ecosystem. And that's what the North Sea project is all about. It started in 2016, so it's been five years, under the leadership of BSH, the German Federal Maritime and Hydrographic Agency, and the University of Oldenburg in Germany. Well, we worked on the North Sea project, which started in 2016 on coherent maritime special plans. The focus was on uh, shipping, energy and environment. And uh, we worked on finding best management options because we know that the sea is a valuable ecosystem. So we need really sustainable management. And that was the main focus of our work. So in the past 15 years, the North Sea region countries have significantly progressed with MSP. However, they only focused on the national context. If we have a look at the German national plan, its first version from 2009, and now its most recent version from this year. I think a lot of things have progressed when it comes to shipping lane, for example. So shipping lane have changed because of more recent data. We now know where the ships actually go, but also offshore energy, because we need a lot of space for offshore wind. And of course, there are way more areas for offshore wind in the new plan now. So even though MSP is a national competence, countries need to ensure coherence with the neighboring countries. So each country has its own planning methods, which are quite different because of their history, their traditions, or just their geography. So a more comprehensive approach to um, cooperation is necessary to understand each other processes, methods, planning systems, to eventually further improve coherence. This is why we have um, developed the North Sea project, and it's, it's the first attempt to organize closer cooperation on MSP in the North Sea region with an improved North Sea-wide cooperation in marine spatial planning. The aim is to finally create better conditions for sustainable development of the marine space. Well, uh, th there have been some uh, results I'm really proud of, which have been uh, generated in this uh, project. Um, one really important result was that uh, we all worked together and uh, produced a platform of all the maritime special planning authorities. And it's very good now uh, to know exactly who is responsible in which country for maritime special planning. And another um, aspect I'm proud of is that we uh, produced a platform of uh, cooperation with research agencies, universities, in order to get more knowledge on the sea and environmental aspects or other scientific aspects. That's uh, really beneficial and one of the biggest outputs of the project. So my personal highlight of the project was the Connecting Seas Conference. We had uh, February 2019 in Hamburg, where more than uh, 250 maritime spatial planners from the Baltic Sea and the North Sea uh, met and discussed uh, how to go on with maritime spatial planning. And this was enormous success. Well, there are many results uh, of the North Sea uh, project. Uh, but the most important one is, of course, that uh, stakeholders and decision makers from all the North Sea countries were able uh, to come up with better ideas, better plans, better decisions on how to manage uh, the North Sea area. I'm very proud about the North Sea results because during the project we developed science-based planning solutions and integrative methods for the benefit of all human activities and also the marine ecosystem. You can see this, for example, in our energy reports, shipping reports, and also the environmental analysis we did. Um, for example, we analyzed the current situations within the project and the future needs of the different sectors in the North Sea. Additionally, we also developed various scientific methods, tools, approaches, and also scientific papers at the interface between science and also the implementation in national authorities. Well, a good example, of course, is the MSP challenge, so the Maritime Spatial Planning uh, Challenge Simulation Platform. Uh, that is something that we have contributed to. Uh, and in a nutshell, it is uh, like a game uh, where 
decision makers and stakeholders uh, can collaborate together uh, to draw their plans and to see the consequences of their plans into the future. Uh, and of course that uh, contributes to uh, a lot of the communication and also the learning of these stakeholders. Well, we had many uh, exciting game uh, sessions in uh, Tessel, Hamburg, uh, Aberdeen and Malmo. So in different cities in the North Sea area where uh, stakeholders and decision makers uh, came together uh, and used the MSP Challenge simulation platform uh, to communicate and to, to collaborate and to draw their plans into the system. So by the end of the North Sea project, we really felt like it was time to train the trainers, to uh, make sure that other people than ourselves uh, can actually use and apply the MSP Challenge simulation platform. So we held a workshop to uh, train new trainers of MSP Challenge using MSP Challenge and hopefully uh, these trainers will actually apply the MSP Challenge simulation platform both within actual maritime spatial planning processes and in higher education. I really hope that uh, the North Sea project and future projects about MSP uh, will continue to focus on um, a collaboration in the different sea regions, the North Sea region as an example, uh, and that the North Sea project will have proven invaluable in, in offering a platform for that. And I also very much hope that we can continue with the MSP Challenge simulation platform, applying it to different sea basins all over the world so that other communities, public and private organizations, governments, stakeholders can use simulations and gaming to really understand what the consequences could be of different maritime spatial planning options in their sea region.